Hello, my most amazing artists. We are going to be creating a clay flower today for springtime. First, we're going to need to make our clay into a ball. So I am going to turn and press so that I can create a nice ball or sphere shape. Then I'll take my thumb up and put my thumb in. Then I'm going to smooth any of those different cracks that are happening on my clay. Then I'm going to take my shark mouth hand and pinch while I turn my clay. This is called a pinch pot. If it helps you, you can also do this on the table instead of in your hands. Then again, I'm going to go around and smooth any cracks. Once I am satisfied or I like how it is looking, I am going to take that little pinch pot bowl of clay, give it a tap on the table to make it flat. Then I'm going to take my plastic knife and create some cuts down the clay. You do not want to cut all the way through because you want to leave the bottom that is not cut so that your flower can still stay together. Then you can either poke some holes not all the way through to create the center of your flower or you could add a center in with clay. Now you can get creative. You can add any kind of bugs or leaves or details that you would like. You can create maybe a bumblebee with some rounded wings. Maybe you want to create a caterpillar or a worm on your flower. Maybe you would like to create some kind of a butterfly using some small circles of clay for the wings and a longer part in the center for the butterfly body. Get creative. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Remember that anything you add and any time that you add clay to clay, you must scratch and attach. That is the glue of clay and how you're going to keep your pieces to stick together. Scratch and attach both where you're adding the clay and what clay you are adding. Watch this in slow motion. I'm scratching my bumblebee going one way with my scratches and then crisscrossing them. Then I'm also going to scratch where I add my piece. Watch how I figured out where I wanted it to go on the flower and now I'm scratching there as well. Now I'm ready to take one fingertip of water and put it onto my scratches. I'm not smoothing out my scratches. I'm just tapping a little bit of water on them. Then I'm ready to put those scratch marks together. You can think of this kind of like Velcro. It is the glue of clay to scratch and attach every time you add clay to clay. 
once you're done adding all of your wonderful details, what you are going to do next is put your name tag onto your clay. 